Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are going to be painting the Kiris, which are a cool range support unit for the Old Dominion Army in Conquest the Last Argument of Kings. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted my models. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultramat Slate Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum, but you could use any gray primer that you want. We're going to start this project off by taking Nagaroth Knight, and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the smoke ectoplasm stuff on the ghost. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Druchi Violet and we're going to wash this heavily over all of the purple on the model. After that shade has been allowed to dry, we're going to take Barak Nar Burgundy and we're going to layer this over all of the raised surfaces of the smoke. We're then going to do an additional layer of highlighting, this time using Screamer Pink, and we're only focusing on the edges and ridges that are the most raised and anywhere that we want the color to be the brightest. We're going to do one more detail on the smoke. We're going to take Dawnstone and we're going to lightly dry brush this over all of the smoke, but we're not going very heavy because this will give the smoke the appearance of being a little bit more pink, and we don't want that. Our next step is to take Ion Rack Skin, and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the flesh on the model. We're going to do two different shades over the flesh. The first one is going to be done using a Thonian Camo Shade, and we don't want to go too heavy here, because we don't want to darken the skin down too much. Our second shade is going to be done using Reichland Flesh Shade, and once again we're not going too heavy because we don't want to completely cover up the tone that we got from the previous shade. Now that we've finished the skin, we're going to begin working on the robes of the Curies, and we're going to use Baneblade Brown as the base color for this. Once that base color is in place, we're going to use Contrast Nasdrag Yellow and we're going to paint this over all of the Baneblade Brown. Now you could also use Agaros Dunes for this if you want a more brown, darker colored robe. Once that contrast has dried, we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to dry brush this heavily over the robes to catch all of those raised ridges. Now we're going to take Lead Belcher and we're going to use this as the base color for any metal parts that exist on the Kiris. This includes the chains that are hanging around the waist of the models. If you were doing Moroi, you would paint the daggers using this color as well. We're going to shade the metallic parts of the model using Agrax Earthshade. And you can go as heavy as you'd like with this shade, it won't make too much of a difference in the end. Our final step in this project is to take Hex Wraith Flame, and we're just going to put a dot of this in each of the eye sockets, and this is just to give it somewhat of a glowing green effect. And with that, we finish painting the Curies. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, and then subscribe to my channel so that you can see future videos I make. And then consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get access to additional perks, such as a Discord that's designed specifically for members, wherein you can talk directly with me and ask me questions whenever you'd like. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.